Hey alligators, what's up? It's Sally Hardesty and today's video is going to be a chit chat. Get ready with me. This is the first video that I will be filming in my new apartment. So I have a lot to talk to you guys about that. Sharing some stories, just catching up a bit because I actually haven't filmed a video in like a month. All my recent videos that you guys have been seeing are pre-recorded. So it feels really good to finally sit in front of my ring light and camera, which actually broke by the way. This is a different ring light. It's actually my old ring light and it's really hot and it makes you sweat because there's no cover on it and it's super bright. So I'm like dying already, but I feel like every time I film one of these I do my makeup differently so you guys can just keep up to date with how I'm doing it not that any of you really care I basically film these sort of videos just to rant I have no makeup on at the moment I did go ahead and put on some Clinique moisturizing lotion and then the Mary Kay primer so now my face is set to go and I think we're gonna start off with concealer I have been using this new concealer it's wet and wild cruelty free actually I'm not vegan but you know for all you vegans out there in my opinion it works better than the Tarte shape tape thing which is like super expensive we're actually gonna go ahead and put my hair back too I always do this just so I don't get makeup in my hair if you guys see me look over that way that's because I have a mirror right there like a full-length big one I know that a lot of people put concealer on after foundation but I've always put it on first I don't really know why and I usually just do Illuminati triangles underneath my eyes and then I also usually put it around my nose like that like kind of on the creases basically wherever lines are at like you know when you smile how it creates certain lines on your face I just kind of like to cover those up I also use it as a eyeshadow primer so I put some on my lid now we are going to blend that in I usually use my fingers but then at the end I will go ahead and use a brush as you guys know I don't use a beauty blender I still don't moving has been absolutely insane if you guys have never had to move before let alone on your own like with no help from your family driving the u-haul yourself literally moving all your possessions count your blessings because it is not fun it's definitely a lot of work but I mean it's worth it in the end because I have this new apartment and I got to start over fresh and I'm still decorating it right now the way that I want Want. Once it's all done, you guys will see an apartment tour for sure. I just want to wait until it's completely finished. The main thing I'm waiting on right now is my couch. I still need to pick one out because I did get rid of my old one. I didn't want to move it. It was so big. I look kind of like a ghost because this is definitely a pretty light concealer, but it blends with everything else you'll see. I'm going to take this flat brush and just like buff it into my skin. Now that that's done, we're going to move on to foundation. I just started using this one. I love it so much more than the last one. It is Naked Skin Urban Decay, and I am the lightest shade. It's 0.5. The last foundation that I was using was really good. It was really expensive too. And I don't really want to pay for that because I wasn't in love with it. It was good, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. It was almost too thick. I almost felt like that was making me break out too because my skin's been super clear since using this one. And since it's so watery, creamy, I just go right ahead and use the brush instead of using my fingers. Oh, can we just talk about the fact that Mala and I found actual heroin in the U-Haul? I kid you not. It was like a capsule and it had brown stuff in it. And it was raining, mind you, when we moved all my stuff. It was like seeping out of the capsule because of all the water and we googled it to see what it was. It was like tucked away on the side like someone had accidentally left it there. So I took a ball of tape like the clear tape that I was using for packing up all my boxes, balled it up, picked it up like that and then put it in a water cup because I was like dude I don't want to touch that and I don't want to leave that in the U-Haul and them to think that it was mine when I'm returning it and I get charged for something. So yeah we just disposed of that thing and then we had to be careful not to accidentally drink the water cup because we literally would have gotten high from that. Like it was seeping out of the capsule. It was so gross. We are going to use powder next. This is the Maybelline Fit Me and it's really simple. I'm using my big fluffy brush, putting that all over my face. I've been having some really paranormal experiences lately. I actually had a lot of them in my last apartment, but I was gonna wait to talk about them until I moved here. But I've been having sort of worse ones here and I think I know as to why that is. But I'm gonna save it, I think, for another video because I'd rather just put it all in one video than like ruin this get ready with me by just talking about all the paranormal stuff because it's actually really scary. The stuff that's been happening in this current apartment, I was kind of warned might happen and then it started to and I was like, okay. Oh, by the way, I'm doing bronzer right now. I just kind of put it like, on my cheekbone and my forehead. We're gonna do some blush. This is Hervana by Benefit. These are both Benefit products. I'm gonna put it on my cheek right there. I don't know why I put it on my neck. You're probably not even really supposed to do that. I have really rosy cheeks from this stuff. I'm so pale though, that color kind of makes me look better, you know, like even if it is bright pink blush. And my brush totally shredded, shredded, shedded all over my face. Now we're gonna do some highlighter. This is the e.l.f. highlighter. I always use this because I don't like highlighters that are super pigmented just because I feel like I look sweaty with a lot of highlighter on. I'm not someone who can like super pull that off. And this stuff barely shows up. In fact, when you first get it, like the top of the surface, it doesn't show up at all. You're gonna think it sucks. But then when you get down and like dig in there, it's like decently pigmented, like it works. 
works. I just kind of put that right there. Oh, oh, I needed to tell you guys this. I got a new PO box. I will put that on the screen here. I will also have that in the description box. So I don't want anybody to send mail to my old PO box that closes out in like a couple days. And I think in like a month or so, I'm gonna try to do like a huge PO box opening video on my channel, whether that's mail or packages, whatever. Don't spend your money on me if you guys do want to send me something. Like, I mean, you guys could send me literally anything random or make me something. I don't care. Like, honestly, a letter I would be so happy with and like cry. I've seen people get some weird stuff in these kind of videos. I don't want that. I just want to read your guys' letters, etc. So this is just a regular little pencil. I actually love using pencils. I used to not use them until I found this guy right here. And he is super easy to work with. You just do kind of like hair-like strokes. People used to always say that and I just couldn't do it. But this pencil makes it super easy. School starts for me on the 22nd, but I still don't know if I have Tuesday, Thursday classes or Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes because I'm waitlisted for a couple things. I wish I knew my schedule already because it's kind of like making me anxious, but it's whatever. I'm also taking a couple online classes. So at least I know that I have those for sure. Now I'm going to start using a little bit of my Anastasia dip brow. I pretty much just use it for like the end of my brow to define it a little bit more. Oh my gosh. I meant to tell you guys. So I got a ticket the other day when I was driving. This cop pulled me over. Apparently I was going like 10 over the speed limit and he called for like two backup squad cars. And I was like, okay, like what did I do wrong? I don't understand. I didn't even know that I was speeding because I'm not from this area. Obviously it's not an excuse, but I didn't know the speed limit. So when he pulled me over, I thought it was something else and he called for backup and I was like, it's not that serious. Like, I'm sorry. And I got a ticket. I have a court date, which I don't think I have to go to if I pay the ticket. But yeah, that really sucked because I just moved here and I already got a ticket. I've heard that the Chico cops are like really, I don't know, like that, I guess. I'm definitely scared to do drive with me twerking videos now because I mean, I don't want to get pulled over. My eyelashes are pretty naturally curly, I feel like, but I do this anyways. We're going to use this gold stuff. This is from Ipsy. I'm already so happy that I got a subscription from them. I keep dropping all my brushes. We're gonna put the gold all over my lid. Ooh, this is super pretty. I'm really happy that they sent me this one because all my palettes, like the Naked Palette, Modern Renaissance, etc., the gold is completely gone because that's like the one color I use the most. I am filming all day. I'm probably not gonna leave the house at all except for to maybe go hammock for a little bit. Hammocking, I know I need to pull on this, has been my newfound obsession. I will just find a couple trees, put up my hammock, it's a bare butt to be specific, and then lay out and read. And it's amazing, it's so relaxing. I could lay in a hammock for hours. I could take hammock naps. Like, I'm obsessed. My apartment complex here has a bunch of trees, like low-key a forest in my backyard. And I'm so excited to go back there and explore and just be a little hippie out in nature and read my book. Right now I'm reading, I think it's called The Yarnell 7. And it's just about like manifesting things that you want in life, being positive. I don't know. I just started reading it. So I really don't know what it's all about. I just kind of know the first chapter. I feel like we can always learn. Like there's always room to learn. Doesn't matter who you are. In some way you can always be growing. And so when I do choose to read that's usually the kind of stuff that I like to read. I'm so bad at eyeshadow. I feel like I got that everywhere. I should try the tape thing one day. You know how people do that so it like doesn't oh my gosh my hands are like literally orange from this stuff i got this palette and it was like five dollars and it has really good colors in it it's kind of like another modern renaissance low-key i'm just putting like a whitish color along my brow bone so it's not gold like everywhere everywhere this is half baked from like the first naked palette i'm just putting it right there in my corner honestly with eyeshadow i just do random stuff like i don't really know what i do oh my gosh you guys seeing marshmallow was so amazing it was not only his first show of 2018 but he also performed his song with little peep spot like for the first time live and we got to see that as like his encore song and I wanted to cry like it was such a beautiful song I never really listened to Little Peep when he was alive but like oh my gosh but that song was so good and now I started like actually listening to his music and it makes me so sad like he was great and you could tell his lyrics had so much power also I wanted to ask you guys would you be interested in me ever making those videos where they're like get lit with me in your feels playlist like those kind of videos where people just sit in front of the camera and like show you different songs from like different playlists of genres of music let me know in the comments what kind of music you'd like to see me do a playlist on like EDM type stuff or music that I would listen to if I was gonna go party or chill vibey type of song because I listen to a lot of different stuff. I'm seriously so excited to show you guys my apartment. Like, it's definitely an upgrade from the last one and I'm gonna decorate it a lot different. My dad's coming to visit in like 
literally a week. He comes here the first week of school because he's gonna come help me like make these dresser things, which I'm not even gonna talk about in this video. I'll talk about it in the paranormal video, if you know what I'm saying. And he's gonna add like bars to put my clothes on inside of those because these used to be TV stands. And he's just gonna help me do some like handyman stuff around the house to make it better. Like he's gonna give me blackout curtains or blackout window things. Cause you know how in my old apartment I had everything blacked out with tapestries, like super ratchet. Like I didn't really have windows because I can't sleep with light. He's gonna do that in a non ratchet way. So I'm able to like completely black them out and then completely open them. So that'll be good. I needed help with that for show. My eyeshadow is what it is at this point. Let's do some eyeliner now. I try my best to do a thin line and a baby wing at the end. How I do my wing is I go out and then I connect it and then I color it inside. That one's decent, we can work with that. Mascara primer from Lancome. That on before we put on our mascara. That way it stays really well. It's almost low key waterproof when you use this stuff, I swear. And then mascara and then we'll put on some lip stuff and call it a day. I hope you guys are all having a really great morning so far and maybe you even did your makeup with me while watching, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want more of these because I love to be able to just rant and talk. I do little dabs of mascara on the bottom sometimes, just like that. This is like the best chapstick ever. It's N-I-V-E-A. Neva? Niva. What kind of lipstick are we feeling today? I think I might just do some lip stain here again. I think I did this in the last get ready with me, but yeah. And let's put some gloss over it because why not? My makeup is done now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and catching up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you are in fact new here. Tap my notification bell twice to receive all my notifications whenever I upload. Follow my social media. I also have a Patreon if you guys want to check that out for exclusive photo shoots, unseen videos, private Snapchat, etc. That'll be linked below. Thumbs this up and comment below if you guys want to see any of the videos that I mentioned throughout this Get Ready With Me or if you like the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later all getters. Bye.